Hello my friends, this is Farhan Akram, a senior Apex developer. Today we will be learning how to create single page application in Oracle Apex. Uh, if you are wondering what is single page application, a single page application is a web application which interacts with the end user by dynamically rewriting the current web page. It means that you uh, there is no need to navigate to another page. Your main page will be the same, only the components will be replacing each other uh, with the different functionality. So it gives users very smooth experience, that's why it's very popular nowadays. So till now, in Oracle Apex, there is no option to create a single page application. But uh, with this uh, very simple code, with this add-on, you can easily give that experience to your end user. This project was part of my routine application development but I thought that it might be helpful for other user you can take advantage of it uh, let's see uh, th there is a sample app uh, we'll, we'll see that so this is our sample app uh, it has all the available option till now uh, we can see it like this part is the header part uh, it can be anything of your application like uh, all the information which is or you want always visible on the top you can put in it so now uh, we'll check the other options here uh, this is our home page your application can have multiple home page like uh, if you are running an ERP system then one home page will be some HR module another home page can be POS another home page can be uh, like uh, financial system or anything else there can be multiple home page and within home page there will be dialogues like uh, uh, we have a default dialog if we do not select anything so this kind of dialog we will see like uh, uh, you can see this expands with it even if I resize the frame it, it is adjusting it size also right so uh, you cannot move it and even you cannot uh, reduce its size but there are some other options we'll check uh, like uh, here we have a dra draggable this dialog is a draggable we can move it anywhere but we cannot re resize it okay uh, another option is the resizable dialog here our dialog is resizable but it is available uh, you, it cannot be moved now uh, there is another option which is show breadcrumbs this area this is the breadcrumb area right uh, if I select this one you, you see here uh, this breadcrumb area is always visible if you have multiple tab multiple dialog pages it will come over it but this part will be visible as it is even I change the dimensions of the page it is adjusting its size okay now another option is SPA show footer uh, show footer it means that the footer should be visible this part see, see this page is uh, leaving place for the footer you can use multiple styles as well like uh, in it you can see the header part is visible the footer part is visible even the dialogue is draggable even the dialogue is resizable right uh, multiple classes option can also be selected uh, one is left which is uh, no title this part this is a blank page like there is no uh, title bar there is nothing uh, for this you have to include close button in the page itself okay let's go back to the uh, github so we have seen the sample app uh, now uh, there the description says there are a list of there are three main files one is SPAGS, one is SPACSS and sample app. Okay, uh, this JS file, this contains all the functionality in JavaScript and uh, CSS, the part of styling. This sample app, you can load it uh, to check how it works. Okay, uh, now the requirement area, it says that Oracle Apex 23.1. So uh, these files, uh, this is compatible with 23.1 only, right? And now here we co come to installation part I think we should uh, do it side by side uh, so that you can also learn that how to implement this uh, let me create an a blank application 
then we will do it side by side let's let's see this is my new application spa new this is spa new uh, we need uh, no we don't need any of option below we'll just create it right where we have a home page and uh, our application is ready let's go back to the installation steps so my file is ready uh, let's go and upload it we'll go to share components share components we'll go to static workspace files uh, you can see actually these files already exist in my application if uh, for your case uh, they will not be there you will just go and uh, you will create files and drag and drop that's it so we have uploaded the files the both of the files now we need to put the references yeah let's go back copy the reference of CSS like this we'll go back to SharePoint user interface attributes CSS we we'll put the file here right so apply the changes then we'll go back to uh, again share components static files and SPAJS right here We'll copy it we'll go back and put the reference okay javascript like this now we are done let's go back to the next instruction so the next instruction uh, we have added the reference is great we have uh, added the both references very good now uh, we need a little motive modification in the template we need an, a new template for that uh, let's go and create so what it says that go to application share component template okay copy model dialog as spa dialog let me copy it. okay now we'll go back we'll go to share components uh, here and uh, we'll go to the templates let's find the dialog one dialog yeah this is model dialog uh, already available uh, we'll copy it we'll put the name as it was given copy good we'll open it next instruction says uh, replace apex theme the 42 dot dialog with the spa dialog in We'll go to dialog initialization code part. So here is the dialog initialization code part. So we will replace this part with this one. Okay, we are done with it. Apply changes. Now go back and check what it says. Okay, now all done. So the installation part is done. Now we will check how we can use it. Okay. First of all, we need setting in home page. Uh, to create a home page, uh, we need to set following properties. The page mode is normal, great. Our home page is already normal. Let's see, uh, verify also. And there should be a CSS class of the page SPA home. Okay, uh, let's go back to our home page. Go to application. And uh, you can see here, uh, the page mode which is already normal will add the CSS so that's it we have we have done the changes now it comes to SPA dialogs uh, let's create a SPA dialog okay go back to application we'll create a page uh, we'll say it uh, 
dialog one this is our first dialog it should be model dialog we'll add it navigation as well okay create go back the page is ready now uh, once we have created the page we need to put these things the the page mode we already selected the model dialog there is a dialog template that should be spa dialog okay we have not set this option let's go back uh, page mode is dialog and uh, dialog template which is already available the newly created spa dialog all right then uh, save it go back to application and run it okay so here is our navigation menu and our dialog page is ready uh, but we need some more options we need uh, we need our header part that should be visible uh, let's see how can we do that go back here uh, it says that there is a customization available you can further modify the layout of dialog adding one or more classes of the following here is the classes uh, sp no page to remove the ti uh, no title sorry to remove the title uh, right now we don't need we want our class to be uh, page to be draggable all right we'll copy it go back all right uh, this is our dialog one we'll go to the dialog css section here is the dialog section in css class we put it the width we have copied over here let's see more customization uh, spa resizable yes we want our dialog page to resizable let's go add space here we'll add and now and more customization spa show breadcrumbs yes this is the part we were looking for let's go back we'll add the short dialog okay all right we are done with it uh, now it's time to check whether it is working or not go back to application run the application yep and dialog page oh great uh, you can see that uh, the header part is visible that's good and also my page is move draggable and also the resizable all right uh, so you can see guys this is very easy very very easy you can do it and uh, it will be uh, it will give your user a very nice interface so now uh, let's see uh, what further is available option uh, now uh, similarly show footer is also there we don't need that and uh, yeah uh, there are some useful functions uh, we can use it like set dimensions if you want at any event you want the uh, to dimensions to be reset you can use this javascript function and uh, also there is a spa close all dialogues that's a great function uh, if let's say you have many many dialog page open and you want to close all of them you can use this function it will close everything in a click okay uh, that's it right now uh, but uh, I, I think it was very easy uh, you got the point you can use it and uh, what else can be okay uh, one more thing I want to show you uh, which is the console part if you go here in we go to console uh, and we can see here there is uh, some like uh, spa underscore stack so this spa stake uh, this object will contain all the open dialogs and their information so you can uh, it can be very useful for you the title is also is available and uh, one more thing which is which is uh, which i have not covered which is uh, the communication between the parent part and the dialog pages uh, if you are interested to know uh, you just uh, let me know with the comments and i will create another video between the uh, for the communication between the home page and the spa dialogues uh, thank you very much if you like the concept please don't forget to share it and like it thank you